So that's why I'm up here. I'm glad to be on this stage. And uh, right away, I don't want to waste your time. So I won't introduce myself, at least to say something. So today we are going to look at, you deserve to be there at the top. Uh, someone who's behind the deck, help me and go to the next slide. The next? Yeah, there. So, uh, what are we going to look at in this session? I want to persuade you uh, so that you sign up, you know, to pursue being at the top. Okay? So, if you need to take some notes, kindly, uh, I give you a start seconds to grab whatever you want uh, to use to write, okay? Help me and go to the next. So I guess we've all heard about the notion that says uh, that what? Life is a what? It's a myth or life is a test, you know? Sometimes we think that we know it, but the next minute <laughs> we are like the child is in a better position because usually the child is innocent for us, we are not, okay? Uh, so why? Uh, I mean, could you go to the next slide, please? Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'd like to talk of, uh, about a few things which do not matter if you are to be at the top there. And you can see there just two things. How much money you've made so far doesn't matter. How many times you worked for bad data doesn't matter. That's in case if you are providing a service. How many projects you failed at doesn't. Your age and experience doesn't. So what matters? Let's go to what matters, please. Yes. There will always be new approaches, there will be competitors, tools, and most importantly, the dynamics, okay? So let's go to the next. And if there, if we've seen what doesn't matter and we are, we've seen what matters, then that means there's something we are supposed to, to do, okay? So, and the ultimate thing that we are supposed to do is to give ourselves a little bit of more self-love, you know? Buy yourself sweets, buy yourself clothes, do this, go to the gym, so on and so forth. So pursue and focus on self-love by identifying and defining yourself for you, not for your wife, not for your girlfriend, not for your boyfriend, not for me, not for your boss, oh my God, not for your boss. And uh, kind of a bit, uh, let's go to the previous, yes. And always begin with the end in mind, okay? Like I'm from Kampala and the end in mind is that I'm going to learn, okay? I'm going to learn and I'm going to share. So I'm excited for that. Okay, the end in mind is not me reaching back to Kampala, okay, safely. That will come the moment we press the accelerator. But right now, the end in mind is whatever I'm going to have. So how does that help? If you begin with the end in mind, it lays a compassionate and clear ground for stakeholders. I think we've all been somewhere at school, at business, anywhere where uh, we've experienced unexpected results, okay? But the moment we put into perspective what I said previously, then the ground for compassion and clarity is going to be laid. So for example, an employee, if there is a compassionate and clear ground, an employee will be intentional on why, what and who to work for. You know, always I've heard, ever since I entered the field of technology, 
I've had people, especially ladies, complain. I was abused this way. I was not paid. I expected this. But that largely happens because you as an employee, you are not intentional. So you just look for the company which has a good name and promises a good salary. That's, that doesn't work. For a freelancer, you'll be able to find compatible clients. Compatible clients are those people that they, you know, they are compatible with your style of executing things. All right? It's not that you are going to, to go to them, you expect them uh, to give you a contract paper and they don't have. If you expect that the, cl the client uh, should have a contract paper, by the time you get there, they, they will have, because those are compatible. Uh, for an entrepreneur like me, will solve problems regardless of how harsh the conditions are and circumstances. And for an employer, they will set realistic expectations. Okay? Uh, let's go to the next, and conditions. So what are our responsibilities? I put here, what are your responsibilities? For you, it should be, what are my responsibilities? Okay? The first is the motive. Regardless of what role you want to play, self-identity is paramount or important. Know who you are, know your strength and expectations, and which problems you want to solve at what cost. You know, because most times we get into careers without knowing the costs and everything. Then, the qualifications. Are you qualified? You always need to keep checking whether you are qualified for things. If you are not qualified and you are still alive, I mean, who stops you from pursuing the qualifications? Uh, the, the SOAP exploit social media. This is one of those most important points that someone should take away. Exploit social media and internet to establish strong online presence. Okay? Don't go on, for example, on Facebook or WhatsApp and just share food you know, <laughs> share things that uh, can bring something, things that can teach others, things that can show the market that you are, uh, you are of authority. Then, on the point of expert, you need to make sure that experts know you. Most people say it, uh, it matters who you know, but I think we can twist the narrative and say it matters who knows me. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Am I losing you guys? <laughs> Can I see an high or an hand up? Oh, those are few people. All of us are wonderful. Yeah, that's it. So, as build the trust, okay, by sharing your journey, like right now, I'm going to go on Twitter and say, hey, I've shared my, I've shared something to the WordPress community at the Word Campaign table. You see, and the world will know because I have over uh, 2,000 followers on Twitter. So the world will know, and probably I'll get the next opportunity. All right, and reposition yourself uh, by learning the market language. Like you need to know what the people you want to work for, all those that you want to work for you, you need to know how they communicate, learn the language and their culture properly, and reposition yourself. Um, so, and don't be offended that not every gig job or potential customer is for you. And I'm trying to rush because I think I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm late. Uh, how many minutes left? Thank you very much. Uh, without a contract, you've already failed. Yes, I know this because I've failed at many projects. So if you go somewhere and you, you, you decide to work on a project without a contract paper, psh, failure. Uh, your price is not the charge less than your competitor. I know we are, most of us here are developers, but you may hear that my friend David Yanuru charges 1.5 eh, million, and you are like, ah, for me I will charge 800. <laughs> That's totally wrong. 
fact, it, and this I don't know if we shall share the slides, but that point next, that next point to that thing has a way you can, I put up a formula on how you can determine your pricing, okay? So you can request for the slide, and uh, I know the organizers will provide it. So, uh, without further ado, that's it, and I'm happy to have been spoken to you, and I dedicate this presentation to these people. Uh, Kato Kosuma, who is there, is uh, a fellow co-founder where I work. Kasidi Alpha, the organizer of and lead of uh, the WordPress community here in Entebbe and Elementor. Mukalele Rogers, oh my God, Mukalele, thanks for what you've done. For Thank you very much. Lawrence Bahira, who is not with us here physically, but here spiritually. <laughs> and my mate, Hamza Kwehangana. Uh, yeah, because I learned a lot from these people, so that's why I dedicated this to them. And thank you for listening.